<laughs> I'm Bianca Czajkner, I'm an illustrator from Austria and I found this residency somewhere in the internet and I found it very interesting and I applied for it and now I'm here in the southwest Kasi Hills. My name is Kristina Kandrikova, I'm from Slovakia and I came for residence here and I'm really enjoying it. My name is uh, Lasse Mauritsen and I come from Denmark. I live in Copenhagen. My name is Katja Buchatska and uh, I'm from Ukraine. And it, was, it is my first time in India. And uh, I enjoy it very much. It's for me like the uh, uh, most uh, a different country, a most uh, unusual country, unusual country. I'm Kaoru Shibuta uh, from Kyoto of Japan. I grew up really uh, with the nature. I'm feeling uh, the greatest nature, earth energy, and myself. Uh, it's happy in hot spring and forest. days we were doing workshop with kids in school and it was a really nice experience. At first it's, it looks like 200 kids will be really a lot but I think we, we managed it really well. <laughs> uh, also kids were very nice I, and I get a lot of energy back from them. I think the response has been great so far ever since uh, Picasso pupils uh, came to the district to uh, begin the workshop called the Artists Point Workshop which is spent for the school students and the young adults of the district. I think the first time that such a program uh, has been initiated in the district where we have resource persons from all over the world. So that is very a very unique thing I think which uh, which makes the you know the, the kids uh, and the students and all the participants feel very uh, happy and enthusiastic because they get to uh, collaborate, they get to work, they get to meet uh, artists from around the the globe and so I think it's a unique initiative of uh, Picasso peoples uh, to, to, to take this up in our district. I can say that the, the, the kids are very delighted to have the opportunity to you know to take part in such a workshop which is opening their eyes and which is giving them many new sorts of experiences and which is also uh, most importantly of course giving them so many insights uh, on art. Especially for, for young children who are at the school going stage, uh, it is important for them in order to expand their worldview, in order to get to know what lies beyond the, the comfort of the four walls of their classroom or of their home, you know. So whether it is, um, uh, you know, they, they learn a lot 
say through books or through something that they see on the television screen or through movies or even through the internet and technology now but when we actually have people coming over you know seeing them in the flesh and them sharing firsthand their experiences um, giving their insights uh, sharing their lessons it, it builds up uh, you know a child's uh, knowledge uh, so much more so I think uh, cross-cultural collaboration is so very important and um, the most important thing is that it, it also teaches children to be more accepting, more humane, uh, better people because they can see then that, you know, we live in such a diverse planet. We have people from, you know, we, we have different cultures, different tongues, different cuisines, different languages, different experiences, different ethos but we're one and the same at the end of the day. And I think art is one of the best ways to express our common humanity. So through the paintings that the kids have drawn, through the kinds of, uh, you know, insights into, into art and creativity and imagination which you have given, uh, I think it's, it's, it's really been a great learning experience for, for our kids here. I don't know what is this, say me what is this, because I don't know this plan. During those three days, uh, about mixing the car. Look at this, how the stone is looking. It is not only some uh, grey uh, something, some grey ball. No, look at this, how, uh, which kind of a shape it has. Also, it has structure. The tree has structure also. So, so tree trunk, it is not only brown color, not only plain brown color. And if you are not sure, you can just come, look at it, and then you can try to paint it to your wall, to your plate. <laughs> Then fill up here, then we'll fill here also. I came to Northeast actually to uh, for my research, and I found this place really inspirative for my work and uh, something really special for me. So I was just thinking, um, since I didn't get many opportunities to also go in the art residence in India, it has been difficult that time. It was a little bit difficult for me. I was just thinking it would be great to create a place or to create the environment or it would be great to create the um, setup where other artists can also come to the place which is uh, in some point really amazing, raw, natural and inspirative. It's mostly that kind of exchange where artists will get direct experience with the people from the rural Meghalaya or from rural place where people still uh, obey some tradition or they live in um, harmony with the nature. Think about it in a little bit uh, broader way or bring it to the uh, different point of view or get inspired by that.
and says, sir, this is very clever that time. So now we call it climate change, biodiversity. The time no one is, did the, we don't have a book, no, no one I'm going to school. Maybe in your country also, the seven day abroad also, the mm -hmm. time is seven mm -hmm. <laughs> We are thankful to our sensor, sensor saying, keep the secret for us, now you become a popular. soft and bright nature and we're just out here like there are a few settlements around but we're really kind of out in the nowhere in full nature and you hear the birds singing at night you hear the water dripping so it's a very beautiful and calming experience i've been collaborating in some sense with some of the local communities our interest was to try to give form and try to make some artistic work out of essential topics in this area. I made another workshop which was called Becoming Animal and that was uh, a workshop for all the children in, in this area in Jakrem. the 40 kids from the local village to participate um, in where we made a big land art piece which was um, meant to give form to one of the myths of this area so we constructed a huge figure which was um, like half human and half animal and in this way we tried to discuss with the kids what the human relationship is to the animal and to the nature The local area in Jakrem where we live is a wonderful place. It's a very less developed, but it means that we have a lot of peace here, a lot of nature, uh, silence. And I think it was a, a very good experience for both sides and I'm really looking forward for what else there will come in the program of this residency. <laughs> What, what happened and what is going to happen now? Can you please tell us? Because we have a purpose, I think, right from the beginning. We have a purpose of the family. We call the priest to pray for the family because the family, our mother has died two years back. So I pray, as per what we believe, and we ask God, maybe our mother has reached heaven to be other. So the gods tell us that we still have to pray for her. That's why we come to this. You like to play and you like to draw also. How you are playing? This art residency is also one uh, uh, big exchange program for us as organizers. We learn many new things uh, by the new new artists who is to come every year. And uh, we try to every year improve, uh, bring new programs, bring 
or different type of or creativity in inside. This is when we got a golden opportunity to team up with Casu Pupils. And this eventful partnership that we as a school and the Casu Pupil are having uh, came to the threshold where we were even able to invite international artists to come to Megalia and experience and share their expertise in the subject. This is perhaps very important in the sense that children, the young people of Megalia, got a chance to experience cross cultural exchange of ideas, of views, of talents. As the saying goes, no man is an island. The same goes for a community also. A community cannot prosper on its own. Talent cannot really grow on its own. It is only when exposed to other talents, to other cultures, to be exposed to the world at large that the young minds, the young talents that we have in the state, in our schools today, perhaps these kind of exchange will really help to develop and nurture our young talents. These art workshops have, I would say, have garnered so much attention because uh, the, the artists from different parts of the world are here for almost a month and it is very rare that you know people will come and uh, come to this place and stay here for such a long time and you know that we, we are still a sort of a, uh, a rural area in which there are not too many, I would say, regular urban city attractions which Probably the artists would be used to in other parts of the world, but we have so much more to offer. You know, we have our beautiful natural surroundings, we have our clean air, our clean water, we have our hospitable people with their uh, fascinating, uh, you know, cultures and histories. So, like I said, uh, we have so much to learn from Picasso peoples, but I think that the artists may also have a lot to learn from, from the people. So we are uh, keen to take this forward and hope that this is just the first step in a long journey. This partnership with the Education Department in Meghalaya, with the state of Meghalaya, will continue in the coming years. It is very, very important because we have to take it further and go to the next level. I congratulate the Picasso group of artists who are involved in this event. And uh, I wish this event the very best of luck. And I'm sure that the local people, the local artists, and also the students will benefit from such events in the future. Thank you very much.